Hello artists, today we're going to talk about what we use to make art. What are some materials that artists traditionally use to make art? And what are some things that you can find around your home to make your own masterpieces? Let's start our journey. Finding conventional and unconventional art materials. Conventional is an adjective used to describe things that are normal, ordinary, and follow the accepted way. Conventional art materials might be supplies you would find in the art room. Materials that are traditionally used by artists, such as pencils, paints, paper, glue, and clay, would all be considered conventional. What are some other conventional art materials you can think of? Unconventional is an adjective used to describe things that are different from what is normal or from the way most people do things. Items you might find in a junk drawer could be considered unconventional. Now let's take a look at some artists who use unconventional materials. Andy Goldsworthy is a British sculptor that creates temporary landscape art installations out of objects that he finds in nature. He uses sticks, stones, leaves, and anything else that he finds outside. What are some objects you can find from nature to create art? Michelle Stitzline creates art with recycled materials and found objects. She uses things like old garden hoses, electrical wire, computer cables, and piano keys. How many different objects can you find hidden inside her artwork? El Anatsui was born in Ghana. He uses materials typically thrown away, such as bottle caps, printing plates, and copper wire. Here you can see how he weaves all of these different materials together. What does his sculpture remind you of? Jean Shin is a Korean American artist who creates monumental installations. Here you can see how she built this maze by creating corn stalks using green plastic soda bottles. On the right is a sculpture called Soundwave that she made by melting together old vinyl records. I wonder what it would be like to walk around and interact with her work. Vic Muniz is a Brazilian artist and photographer. Here you can see how he uses items you might find in your refrigerator to make art. On the left is a painting made from chocolate syrup. In the center is a portrait of Medusa made with spaghetti. And on the right is a Mona Lisa spread out using peanut butter. What delicious foods could you use to make art? And here are some examples of how I've explored unconventional materials. Instead of painting on a paper or canvas, I painted my own hand. What are some unconventional surfaces you could paint on? I also made this portrait on the right using dog hair. How would you go about making a drawing with hair? Here's a list of some of the other unconventional art materials you might find in or around your house. What other items could we add to our list? Now it's your turn to get creative. Search your house and yard for conventional and unconventional art materials. Experiment and create a work of art with the art materials you've discovered. Well, I can't wait to hear all about the unique materials you find just in and around your home. And I'm even more excited to see all of the amazing work you will create. Until next time, bye.